Hi, my name is Adrienne, and I'm going to teach you how to eat healthy food on a budget. Now, the biggest thing is our small steps are good steps. Right now, I have a can of traditional refried beans. I have pasteurized processed cheese. It has no trans fat. Does have some saturated fat. We'll get into more of that. From what I've been learning, pasteurized is good. It means it was raised on a pasture, not necessarily factory. I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt and pepper, and one other good choice. Instead of using mission flour tortillas, they have just going to read you a little bit. They have enriched bleach flour, which means the grain was milled and the protein was taken off of the grain. And basically, there's no nutritional value. It just basically goes right into your body, raises your glucose, insulin comes in, tries to balance that all out. And so if you're trying to eat healthy, this is not the best choice, but it has cyanine, monotriate, Riboflavin, folic acid, vegetable shortening, hydrogenated soybean oil, oils, anything hydrogenated, not the best. It means it turns solid. It was genetically engineered. Um, salt, sugar, baking soda, sodium, and phosphate distilled. Monoglycerides, enzymes, blah, blah, blah. You could guess. You don't want all that, right? So just a small baby step. You could choose something like maybe local or at the store that's locally made. This is just... Tortillas, that just has flour, water, shortening, and which is animal and vegetable oil. So it's just really small, not too difficult, right? So that's what we're going to start. We're going to warm this up. Yeah, we're going to just warm this up. Put it on low. The biggest thing I've been learning in nutrition school, I'm not a health coach yet, is small steps. <laughs> small, small steps. You don't want to switch everything all at once, but this is just a small step to go do. So I'm basically just going to warm up this. I like to add my butter because good butter is really good for you. Um, I get so much. I haven't completely gone to farmer's markets yet, but I get... Tomac unsalted butter, um, it just cream, milk, natural flavor. And it's been churned from fresh, sweet, pasteurized cream, which means it was raised in a pasture. And it does say it, was, it has no RSBT hormone in it, if that's how you say it. It says it right here. Something like, um... All farmers who supply milk from Tomac products pledge not to use artificial growth hormones. The FDA has stated that no significant difference has been shown between milk derived from RBST derivative with non-RSBT. So, I mean, you don't want added hormones. I mean, we have our teenage girls that are growing boobs early. I mean, come on, you don't want all that. So, just saying, this is a good choice right here. So, I like to just add good stuff. I mean, if you have grass-fed milk, it's better, obviously. But, like I said, small steps, a little bit of butter in there. Just to add some flavor it's not gonna hurt you and um, you know I've been learning that studies show like milk has good minerals in it grass-fed milk grass-fed butter has good minerals in it and then I'm gonna add a little bit of cheese it's almost out I like cheese it's just for flavor and I like cheese in my burrito so there uh -huh. And you know, this is really good for just for good fat, to add good fat. It has 10 grams of monounsaturated fat and one gram of polyunsaturated fat. Like poly is got, I mean, sorry, mono is like the oils. Poly is like the fish and all that. So it's just, it's good to, hopefully I said that right. But it's good to like really know. I just want to double check on that, but. It's good to add good fats. You could always get creative with your meals. 
I'm going to get more creative with all my meals and add more videos on here. So, um, either way, I hope you like my videos. So, right now I'm just warming this up right now. So, it's really easy. You could just add cheese. Um, you don't necessarily, if you're vegan or vegetarian, you don't necessarily have to um, switch to veg vegetarian cheese because there's added oils in there like soybean oil, um, all kinds of stuff like that, soybean milk. I think there's just a, an overabundance of stuff like that. You don't, you don't have to. There are studies that show that protein from animals is just as good as plant, but you have to get your nine essential amino acids. Uh, for both and if you have to if you eat a variety of plants it's even better and if you eat great animal stuff I mean those factory raised animals are like not the best and they just don't treat them well and they add hormones and everything so basically I just have this tiny small it looks pretty much like stone ground I believe it was stone ground I'm not quite sure but it looks just more put together than the other one. It just doesn't look as white. It looks good. And I eat brown rice. So like for flour and rice, just an, just another tip. They basically go through a meal and I think it's the endoserm and the bran is taken off. And it, you just basically get the white rice, which white rice is so good, but if you don't get any protein, no added benefits, it goes right to your body and it's just not any good for you. There's so many varieties. There's black rice, jasmine rice, wild rice. So I'm going to have so much fun making these videos because I love to cook and I love to cook healthy, but you know, I cook everything, but I'm just giving you guys options to cook on a budget. And this can go between like one to two dollars. This can go one to two dollars, depending on how many you get. And the cheese, depending on what kind of cheese you get. Just depends. This was given to me, this creamery cheese, and sometimes those are expensive. You don't you can get shredded cheese for like two to three dollars. You don't have to get a lot of cheese. And the butter, this is good quality. Mm, three to four dollars. Just depending. So just giving you options. Anyways. So basically, I already have my cheese in here, in my refried beans. Didn't take long. I have olive oil. I have a little bit of butter, cheese, because I like to eat with a little bit of flavor. See? And it comes out great. Just nice and creamy. Add a little bit of salt and pepper. I would love to be just farm my own stuff and make my own stuff from scratch. And I do sometimes. And I just basically have Taco Bell hot tosses. And I hope you guys enjoy this video and there's my little burrito taco thing and it came out great and I hope you guys like my video. My name is Adrian, and this is Eating on a Budget and I'm going to have more videos and I hope you guys like it and please enjoy.